guys it's been a long time since you um, got to meet um, Supra here good old Supra it's been parked for a while don't get to drive it much these days it's uh, building up a bit of dirt just parked here on the side um, outside in the outside the yard here so I thought today I might give it a start up and get you guys reacquainted again it's been a while and I've got the keys here oh let's see oh let's see if these things will work there we go got it open oh I just like the the shape of this um of the Supras yeah I can never get tired of this car I don't know why oh it's locked up again here we go it's been a long time since I've been starting you Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to check was the oil and I've got this little jumper wire here, I'm going to use that later. Oh, whoa, 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 almost lost that, put that there. Let's check what, make sure it's there. I just don't check these things enough. Yeah. Yeah, needs a really good clean. Look at that. Whew. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Where is that oil stick again? Do -do 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 -do. Please let there be oil. Yeah, there's oil. Sorry guys, it's um, hard to focus because, there we go, it's got oil. It's got oil. Only thing I'm thinking, maybe coolant? I haven't checked this one for a while. Ooh. Yeah. We're good to go. Now, one thing I need to do is actually do a a diagnostic check on this car, and that's done right here. That's where this comes in handy. Okay, here we go. We can. Ooh, hope I don't breach the wrong ones. You gotta be really careful here, guys. Make sure you check your instruction manual as to which ones you can bridge. Oh boy, I'm not having much luck here. <sighs> There's two wires you can bridge here. And I'm trying to bridge one of them right now. But I'm not having much luck. This wire is probably too thick. Too thick. Hmm. I thought I had it worked out, but I don't. It's really does it. It's not happy. It's not happy at all. Oh, I think I may have got it. Let's see if that will stay. All right. So I've breached them. Hopefully, I've, I remember. And got it right. I'm working off my memory right now, so let's count the flashes. Because I know, I definitely know, I'm gonna have to count the flashes if it's working. Mm. I'm not getting anything yet. Come on. I think that connection is not good. 
it's not making good contact so it's not doing anything anyway I wanted to get the the reading on the on the flashes here I don't know if I can do it I haven't got a I haven't got another wire to to, to jump so and there's nothing in here nope oh well it looks like we're just gonna go for a drive Do you guys want to hear a cold start? Maybe I will do a cold start for you guys. It's been a long time.
guys this is the problem I'm having right now I have, I'm having this uh, warning light coming up engine check light keeps coming up and uh, ruining all the fun for now so I definitely have a problem with the with my MA70 and um, it seems like it's an electronic problem the last time I checked it it was a speed sensor issue the speedometer is working but the speed sensor issue keeps coming up so I'm not 100% sure what it is I from some research that I've done so far there's two uh, speed sensors on this transmission so it could be the other one and if it is the other one I'm gonna have to get another one and replace it actually the only way to stop this is to switch it off and restart the engine and then restart it that resets it and then we can continue driving but it will come back again after a few um, seconds or minutes oh there we go it's already come back so some days I can get a good drive out of it before it comes on but now it's just it's pretty much constant which means I won't be able to do any um, heavy acceleration I'm just gonna drive it gently just to uh, warm up the bearings make sure everything's moving around it's ridiculous honestly it's ridiculous right now I've got too many cars that I'm working on I can't I can't really oh, I don't really want to be spending so much money and time fixing too many cars at once so you have to I have to pick my battles wisely I think um, currently all my cars have got issues so I've got a lot of work to do got a lot of work to do Nothing special. Stock standard CT20, CT26. I'm gonna try resetting this um, ECU again. Mid drive, switch off. I'll switch off the engine while it's still rolling. Whoa, I've got no power. I've got nothing. There we go. Forgot to, I forgot to put into neutral. Sorry about that. Ha. 
have to do it. No fault codes at the moment, but it will come back, it will come back. Just keep watching. Usually it's after a few, um, a few pulls. Don't know what it is, don't know. There could be more than one code here now. I'm wondering if there's maybe two codes. Uh, let's see which way should I go. Let's go this way. actually feel a little bit slower than normal because um, whatever this fault is it's really um, inhibiting some of the power still sounds good though still sounds 